So in our notebook app, we are writing notes uh, and images into a SQLite database. And so in order to get into this app, one of the first things I like to look at is sort of the data model. Because the data model, the model, is in some ways among the more conceptually simplest parts of the application. And if we're clear what data we're manipulating, uh, that helps us understand the application as a whole. So what I'm showing you here, um, I've got uh, my uh, app that has uh, a bunch of you know view stuff and a main activity and a view model. But we also, in our database, we have a, a model which consists of two objects, a note and an image. And uh, these are data classes. So this is fairly simple. So we look at an image and we say, all right, what's in the image? We have an ID, uh, which is a long. That's actually going to be the primary key that is uh, assigned by the database. And then we've got a path, which is a string. So that's pretty simple in terms of what the data model is. And then you know we look down here, and this is the sort of um, uh, the names that we have to use uh, in SQLite. So images are going to be in a table. That table is going to be named images. We have uh, a column uh, in that uh, image. Um, <coughs> sorry, the name of the uh, ID column is ID. The name of the uh, um, foreign key that refers back to the note is the column note table ID. The image path is called image path. So these are the column names that are just string constants. And then this is a uh, SQLite um, command to create a table. So create the table images, and it puts in all of the columns, and it tells SQLite things like, hey, this column ID column is an integer. Well, that makes sense. It's the primary key, primary key. All right, we've talked about that, and here we're actually telling the database about it. And I want you to auto-increment this. So anytime I put in a note, uh, you auto increment this column so that every note has unique, sorry, every image has a unique ID. Okay. And uh, the note table uh, ID is also an integer. The column path is a string called text. And, uh, you know, I also want to define a foreign key relationship. And this foreign key relationship um, ties together this note table ID. It is a reference to the table, uh, sorry, to the note table and the column ID in the note table. So again, column ID is the, is the ID, that's the primary key, and that's going to be the primary key both in um, the image table and in the note table, which we haven't looked at yet, but the image table is simpler. So I have a variable number of images. Any image I have has its own ID. It's got a reference to what note it belongs to. And then it's got a path name. Take a look at the note. Note also has an ID because IDs are a very convenient uh, primary key. Uh, it's got some text. So you, know, you want to have some, you want to remember uh, some, some text in our note. We have a timestamp. This timestamp is going to be assigned by SQLite when we, when we uh, uh, create the, the note. And we have a list of images. So this is sort of one of the first cases where our in-memory representation sort of differs from the on-storage representation. So the on-storage representation, we have two different tables that are related by foreign key. What that means in memory is that we have a single note object that has a reference to a list of images. Okay, but this is this is worth you know pausing and trying to come to terms with because if you can get over this hump, 
uh, this is a very important sort of conceptual leap to make. This is the conceptual leap between I've got two different tables related by a foreign key. And then when I read that into memory, what I do is I create one object that has a pointer to another object. So hopefully that, that sort of makes sense. And you know, we're going to see this in, in, in action. So we will revisit this concept several times until, until you get it. Um, and we have to do the same sort of SQLite book, bookkeeping here. We've got a, a table name. The table name is notes. It's got a column ID uh, called ID. It's got a column name called uh, note, which is un unfortunate. I, I, I changed um, I changed this to text everywhere else, but I'm going to change it here. Um, it's got a timestamp, and then uh, I've got a way of creating the table. And here I don't have a foreign key. Um, relationship, I do define the, the column ID to be a primary key, and I do define it to be an auto increment. Okay, so this is this is one way of getting into the data model. I want to show you another sort of cool trick. Um, I'm actually running, I'm actually running the app, just so we see. Um, and you know, in this case, I've got a single, uh, you know, we're going to we're going to talk about the app. Uh, the app is, well, I think it's cool. <laughs> it's probably not so cool. Um, but uh, this is some text. This is uh, an image. So this is our, our record. Now, what we would like to do, what might be kind of cool, is this uh, data is stored in a SQLite database on this emulated phone, or you know, on a real phone if you if it, you got connected over USB. Wouldn't it be cool? to copy that database out of the phone and take a look at it. Yes, that would be super cool. So uh, we go under View, Tool, Windows, Device File Explorer. And this is a very cool feature of modern Android Studio. Oh, um, I wonder where it is. I can't believe it. Oh, it's because I restarted it. Um, OK, so where is this thing? Oh, my word. OK, so this is, this is the device file system. There's a ton of stuff on this device file system, and there's most of which we don't care about, and in fact, would, would give us nightmares if we really uh, knew about it. So we don't, we don't want to get distracted. What we do want to sit here. Ah. <clears throat> Not so bad. OK, so let's see. Just, let's go through this one more time. So. There's a data directory, and you know there's there's other stuff going on here. But again, this is like the operating system, and you, you don't want to get involved in this. So there's a data directory. There's a data subdirectory. In that data subdirectory, there's the name of our app, which is edu cs three seventy one n dot notebook. That has a uh, different. Um, Subdirectory is a cache, a code cache. We don't have access to that. And then there's a databases uh, subdirectory. And there's this notes DB. So we're going to right click on that. We're going to save as. And then uh, let's see, we're going to save as. And um, you know, we'll put this up on the desktop. Uh, yeah, it already exists because I did this before. So yes, and now, now we're on the desktop. So uh, yes, in fact, this file has been successfully copied out. That's cool. Now I want to show you a command line utility called SQLite 3. And you know it's a, a hardcore hacker utility because it's got a number in the name. You know, what happens to SQLite 2? It's <laughs> locked in a basement somewhere. Just kidding. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It, it, it decided to retire. Um, and we're going to open this database, SQLite 3, and give it notes DB. And uh, you, know, you can look at help. And as you can see, SQLite 3 uh, has a lot of commands. The commands start with a dot. And it's a way of interacting with a SQLite database. And, and I think SQLite 3 is a super cool tool. Um, we can do things like, hey, tell us the schema of this database. And 
we're basically seeing the same information that we saw uh, in the Android source, but we're sort of seeing it in a different, in a different format, and it's sort of printing out uh, SQL statements. So it's telling us, you know, hey, there's some Android metadata in here. So we didn't even know about that, but Android put that stuff in there for us. And then, hey, here's a table called notes. And look, notes has a column called ID. And that ID is an integer. It's a primary key and it's auto increment. Like, oh, you know, I mean, we knew all this, but it's still pretty cool to see. Uh, you know, there's a note that is of type text. There's a timestamp of type date time uh, that has a default. So this is some information that SQLite is, is sort of telling us that we didn't, we didn't even know as, as users, we were sort of blissfully unaware. So that's cool. Um, this SQLite sequence, we didn't even know about that, but that, that's an implementation detail. We don't have to know about uh, this indexing information. Here's our images, our image table. Uh, that's also got an ID, which is an integer primary key, auto increment. This is our foreign key, which is our note table ID. Um, and, you know, that gets noted here that the note table ID is a foreign key that refers to the ID column in the notes table. And remember, we talked about what happened, how do we maintain referential integrity on a delete, we cascade that delete. And so, um, if I have a bunch of, um, uh, records in my, uh, image table and I delete the note, those images will go away. Those, those image records will go away. So great. As, as you know, okay. So, so that's, uh, that's, you know, uh, dot schema, uh, dot dump actually, um, throws out sort of the contents of the, uh, database in, in sort of SQL form. So it presents it to you as a SQL commands. So the, in this case, we're, you know, it's telling you to start a transaction and it's going to commit the transaction. So we don't really have to have to focus on that so much, but you know, what's in here? Well, we've got this, we've got these tables and it's telling us what's in the table. So this Android metadata just basically seems to, to say that, Hey, I was created in the U S locale. So when I'm displaying things like currency, uh, and you know, commas versus dots, I know uh, what locale to, to use. Um, I've got the, the notes table and looked at that a bunch of times and now, Hey, look, insert into notes these, these values. And now this is the, the column index. It's not the column name. Uh, and this is the text, you know, blah, 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 once in a while, you light, nah, 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 nah. and this is the timestamp, uh, in our images table. Now, um, this, remember we call the table images, but we don't actually store images in it. Um, why, why not? Uh, because databases are really good at managing small amounts of data. Databases are really bad at managing variable size data, especially large data. File systems are really good at small and large files. So when we have an image or when we have a video, we always put those in a file system and then we put a reference to it in the database. And that, that pointer relationship sort of creates a bunch of hassles, but we need it because databases are good when you have small data in them. So we never put images, we never put videos into our database we put metadata about the image or video into the database. We put the image or video into a file system. It might be a local file system. It might be a cloud file system. File systems are good at large files. Databases are good at structured data doing queries. All right, so our images table doesn't actually have any images. All it has is file names. This file names, uh, this is the full file name or, you know, so storage emulated, you know, you can see that in the, in the file explorer, uh, it, but this is, this is where we pick up, you know, Android data this is the name of our application, blah, blah, blah. And if you remember, uh, you know, when we looked at how to, how to take pictures, 
this is our naming convention. So our naming convention starts out with JPEG underscore and it has a .jpg extension, which is a little bit belt and suspenders. You know, you don't you don't really you don't really need both. You don't need either of them. Uh, but the, the the file extension is is a very standard thing. It helps uh, um, other utilities know what what kind of file it is. So we like to throw that in there, leading with JPEG, and that's just nice because again, if you're doing sort of a things get ordered by the beginning of the of the file and so all of the the if we put other things in this directory like gifs you know the gifs would be separate from the jpegs maybe that's useful maybe that's not okay so that's that's our images and then yeah these sequence uh sequences is some some indexing information that uh, um uh sqlite is is maintaining for us so you know you can take a look at at uh sqlite 3 there's you know it's um, there's, there are other things we can do when we do the flip classroom, uh, there are, you can do queries and stuff, uh, from, from SQLite 3, but, um, yeah, I mean, data, like data, you know, databases, yeah, no, dot, dot tables, yeah, dot tables shows you, you know, what tables are in here. So there's just a lot, a lot of, um, uh, uh, great commands if you want to interact with your database in sort of, uh, a direct way, SQLite 3 is a great way to do it. So in general, this is an introduction to our notebook app. We want to look at how data is represented and what our data model is. And it's notes and images where the images are uh, file names and the image files are stored uh, in the file system, local file system. Thanks.